60 Second Science, we're learning about weather. Fifth graders have been studying climate and weather and learning about the tools used to measure it. They even got a chance to be meteorologists. Take a look. I'm Alethea, your meteorologist today, and I will be covering your local weather in Brooklyn, New York. Hello, we'll be your meteorologist for today. Here's the weather from Topeka, Kansas. Today's weather conditions will be a 70% chance of hail. The high temperature will be at 86 degrees, and the low temperature will be at 70 degrees. There is a 70% chance of rain, so don't forget your umbrellas. We learned that climate means the average weather conditions in a specific place over 30 years time. Here in Central Florida, we have a humid subtropical climate. That means it's usually warm and sunny with long hot summers that can make you feel sticky. But what's the climate like in say New York? The wind speed is nine miles per hour coming from Northwest heading towards Southeast. Students use weather.com to research the temperatures and conditions in other cities and states across the country so they could simulate a five-day forecast. We learned about the tools to measure the conditions as well, such as the thermometer to measure the temperature. How does the thermometer work? I'm so glad you asked. I'm Molly Meteorologist. That's a scientist who studies weather and climate, and I know all about weather tools. A thermometer measures temperature through glass tubes filled with mercury that expands when the temperature rises and contracts as it gets colder. The number at which the mercury stops is the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius degrees. Wind speed is measured with an anemometer. That's tricky to say. Most anemometers have four horizontal shafts arranged like the spokes of a wheel with a cup at the end of each shaft. The wind pushes the concave side of the cup. That's the inside part, making the anemometer spin. <laughs> the stronger the wind blows, the faster the wheel rotates. The anemometer counts the number of rotations, which is used to calculate wind speed. Another weather tool is the rain gauge, which is used to measure precipitation. You know, rain, sleet, or snow. Not that we get much snow here in Florida, but you get the idea. The rain gauge is a cylinder that collects up to 50 milliliters as it falls from the sky. There are many other tools used to measure weather and the atmosphere, such as a hydrometer and a barometer. But these are some of the most basic you need to know. I never knew there were so many tools and calculations involved in a weather report. There's a lot of math and science too. Paying attention to the weather can help you decide what to wear and whether or not you need an umbrella.